The federal government was created by the states to be an agent for the states, not the other way around. That was former Democrat Rick Perry, governor of Texas, speaking to New York Republicans Tuesday night. Perry is publicly toying with the idea of running for president, and in the current way too early meaningless polling, he is ahead of Tim Pawlenty, Michelle Bachman, and John Huntsman among Republican primary voters. On August 6th, exactly one week before the Iowa straw poll, Governor Perry will host a free prayer rally at Houston's Reliant Stadium, which has a capacity of over 71,000 seats. The event's website bills the rally as a non-denominational, apolitical Christian prayer meeting. Perry writes on the homepage, we must come together and call upon Jesus to guide us through unprecedented struggles and thank him for the blessings of freedom we so richly enjoy. The event will be funded by the American Family Association, which operates nearly 200 Christian radio stations across the country. Here is a sampling of what you can hear on their flagship show hosted by Brian Fisher. Hitler discovered that he could not get straight soldiers to be savage and brutal and vicious enough uh, to carry out his orders, but that homosexual soldiers uh, basically had no limits in the savagery and brutality they were willing to inflict on whoever uh, Hitler sent them after. So he surrounded himself, virtually all of the stormtroopers, the brown shirts, were male uh, homosexuals. Brian Fisher is the subject of a new report from People for the American Way entitled The GOP's Favorite Hate Monger, How the Republican Party Came to Embrace Brian Fisher. Joining me now, Senior Fellow for People for the American Way, Peter Montgomery. Thanks for joining me, Peter. Very happy to be back. Peter, um, Mike Huckabee made some real news on this Brian Fisher show earlier in the, in the year. Politically, this was the place where he said that uh, we all grew up as going to Boy Scout meetings, and of course, President Obama uh, was going to madrasas. Uh, does this show encourage them to say these crazy things, all the Republican candidates who show up on this show, uh, or, or uh, how does it work? Is it, is it part of what's fanning the flames? Well, I think the bigger problem with the show is that uh, Brian Fisher is an endless torrent of the most extreme kind of bigotry and divisiveness, and you just gave people one small taste of that. And the fact that his show is a regular stop for uh, Republican presidential wannabes and members of Congress is a sad commentary on the state of the Republican Party. It sort of suggests that there is no bigotry so extreme and there is no McCarthyism so repulsive that they will not embrace or overlook it in order to try to get that uh, the religious right voters that um, uh, they think are listening to Brian Fisher's radio show. Well, what is it about Republicans that allows them to go into arenas like this and not worry, politically worry, about the association that this then leaves them with? Well, I, I think part of what we're trying to do is uh, to give them a little reason to be worried. We want uh, the media and members of the public to know uh, just how bigoted Brian Fisher is and what his show puts out there so that we'll start holding uh, public officials accountable for going on that show and giving him exposure and credibility that he does not at all deserve. I mean, in reading your report, I think what we discover is that th th these perplexing, weird extremist things that Republican candidates say don't make much sense until you discover there's a place, there's a world where they get highly rewarded for that with that audience. Yes, and, and Brian Fisher's world is one that's hard to reconcile with reality. You know, in his world, uh, gays are Nazis who should be uh, prevented from holding public office in the United States. President Obama is a fascist dictator. Uh, the Constitution does not apply to Muslims. Uh, they should be deported from the country. Native Americans deserve to be you know, killed and thrown off their land because they didn't convert to Christianity quickly enough. Uh, people can read our report and see that uh, this is the kind of stuff that's on Brian Fisher's show all the time. And it's outrageous that Governor Perry chose them to sponsor and pay for his divisive and exclusionary event. Peter Montgomery of People for the American Way, thank you for the report and thanks thank for you. joining us tonight.